Hey, what's going on guys? Donkey here and welcome back to a little bit of Kona. So, I know it's been a little while um, that we've played this game. Thought I'd jump back into it. And uh, last time we left off, we were at the mechanics. We were jacking around with uh, putting parts on, um, oh, what was it, a spaceship I think we were messing with. Got that up and running and lo and behold, it didn't really do anything. Um, found another Iceman there. Uh, was messing with that. Uh, went through its progression to see what happened to the guy who was frozen inside of his barn um, and then of course uh, we were putting together the uh, parts for the snowmobile so I'm assuming we we're going to travel somewhere else that we can't get to by vehicle. In the process of, process of all this if you remember um, there was that old man inside the, the house that tried to shoot us and then there was um, an area to where it gave us it was like a distillery uh, so that we can make some of this uh, white whiskey. And uh, we grabbed uh, instructions off the wall in order to do that. Well, one of the things that I missed, and I've kind of I went back and I wanted to show you guys. Make sure that when you come to the store, uh, push the ladder over here and go up to the top of this ladder. And I just grabbed it as soon as I started this video up. And grab this. going to be right here. And grab this sherry. You're going to need that sherry. You're also going to need an empty bottle. I just couldn't for the life of me figure out what the hell I was missing. Because every time we went to this distillery that we're about to go back to, it pretty much just gave me the big uh, FU. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna check the back of my truck to make sure that we don't have a gas can or anything. Because I'm assuming we're probably gonna have to come back here. Doesn't show to be. Let me double check. Yeah, so, because I've noticed on walking over here, it says fill up gas can. So, my guess is once we get to this that point in the storyline we're gonna have to drive all the way back here as soon as we find the gas can because guess what needs gas there's snowmobile so with that said we're gonna drive back to the distillery i'm going to make this sherry or at least try to drive let's see here you can't really see shit in this game um once i make the sherry then we will take that and go give it to the kook, the old kooky man and hopefully get our jacket. He has like a heavy coat or something. Um, and I'm thinking that's going to help us survive some of this climate uh, that we obviously seem to die in every time we go out and start venturing around in the snow. I mean, this is definitely an interesting game. It's an odd game for sure. As you can see on my map while I'm mapping and driving see right here is to the right where the kooky old man is so yeah and there is no on-screen map so we gotta, gotta try to navigate old school and then this house over here that we're gonna come up on to the left it's kind of cool you can move the map out of the way a little bit um shit yeah that didn't work out well did it put this fucking map down. It's about as bad as texting and driving. I want to say it's up here to the left and no, we're not going to step out. Yeah, right here. This is one of the things that kind of frustrates me with this game is the uh, loading times for each area every time you enter a certain section that has like a house. It's like uh, the developers, they kind of sectioned everything up and it has to preload the area before you can enter into it. So that's one of the things I did mention in my last video on this. That they could touch up a little bit, make the game a little more seamless uh, so that you don't have to sit here and wait. Why, why that wasn't done, I'm not sure. So anyway, we're back. Um, I'm going to pull open the map to show you where exactly where we're at now. Let me zoom in. So as you can see, we're right there at this house. Um, it's by the lake. And then we're going to go over here, hopefully, to this little distillery. And see now, as you can tell, both of those bottles are lit up because you have to have a bottle of wine and an empty bottle. So let's see if this works. Sounds like it's taking a piss. All right. The next area that we're going to go to is back to the kooky old man. Um, Matt, please. As I stand here and freeze my ass off. And I wish I could highlight it on the map, but he's going to be up north where it says the old, old 
rosary or rosary or however the fuck you pronunciate that since I'm probably butchering the shit out of it. It's probably rosary. So that's kind of going, going kind of, it will be our uh, way of progression. Carl felt that it was mission accomplished with the wicked nectar in his hands. With the wicked nectar in our hands as we spin out like a drunk madman. It actually did kind of feel a little cool sliding around the corner like that and wiping out. This truck uh, definitely does not handle worth a shit. I guess in one aspect, like, I do like the fact that they did not incorporate any on-screen HUD. I mean, it uh, gives you that realistic feel. I think that's where we're going to go up here to the left. Yeah. See, like right here, once again, we're enter entering another section and it's just, it's freezing up. Not literally freezing up, but uh, it's giving us the big middle finger. Definitely got to stay on the road. Keep me getting off in the snow now. <laughs> He's already bitching about us taking our time. All right, Grandpa. Got my caribou. Here, you freaking drunk. Oh, quand on cherche, on trouve. Parce que je t'aime bien, Aster, va te dire quelque chose. Tu fais bien de prendre ma There's our jacket. Parce que par là-bas, tu vas rencontrer le vrai froid. Un froid qui glace comme tu n'en as jamais connu dans ta vie. <laughs> yeah, we'll gladly take that because we'll definitely need it. Nice. So hopefully this will help. Yo, we got a pair of gloves too. I wonder if those are ice or toner. So what else? Can I talk to him more? What? Yo, kook. So... Oh, look at this. Well, I don't think you're going to be stopping me. You got to look everywhere in this game. I mean, obviously, if you don't, you're going to miss shit. I mean, that's just, just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So let's go up in here and check and see what we have up in this biatch. An axe, not too Ooh. shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Well, we're gonna take it. Nice, nice, like axes. Can do multiple things with them, chop uh, zombies up with it. What's this, gas can? Oh, well, there we go. There's our gas can that I was just talking about. So, is that it? Is there anything else in here? Guess not. This is one game I definitely would like to finish. I mean, it. Uh, I I think the commentary in the game is great, and I'm not talking about mine. Basically, uh, the guy who's doing the, the actual game commentary, he does a really good job. Did I just go around in a fucking circle? Oh my god! It is kind of hard to see where the hell you're going. Holy shit balls, man. The old man's cabin had been very generous to Carl. He couldn't have asked for more. Of course not. Wow. Yeah, this snow's a, kind of a bitch to drive in. Let's see. So I'm assuming we probably need to go back to... Um, Okay, I came in on the left. Guess we could look at our fucking map. Uh, 
my dude. Oh, I need to take a right. Oh. We need to go back to where the uh, mechanic was at and start working on those puzzles. So the mechanic's this way at the end of the road. And that's where um, we were. Had uh, messed with the snowmobile. I'm getting too close to that fence again. I'm going to wipe out. Make sure I'm going the right way. Stop. Yes. Um, no. Carl, get back in the truck. Be a good little boy. Come on, Carl. You can do it. You need to eat your peas, eat your vegetables. Well, shit, I wanted to ram into it. Yeah, I thought before that this whole fence area was open, but... Uh, yeah, not so much... still wasn't done with the mechanics place. No, sir, he was not. Why can I not jump up here? Holy shit balls. Everything has to be such major pain in the ass. So we'll go back down here. Now we're back where we were at before, uh, where I left the game off at. If you remember, little snowman dude was in here. Little icicle fuck right here. Looks like a fucking alien or astronaut. I don't know. So anyway. Next thing we need to do. Yeah, you yeah, had this or Blah, blah, blah. So let's work our way around the back side. See what... Uh, what have we done? What does it say? We need... Spark plug and key. So place spark plug. Thought I had the spark plug the fuck did I did I miss something I swore I grabbed that fucking spark plug the empty gas can well shit I thought the spark plug was in the uh, the mailbox, right? Because that's what we picked up before. So I'm not exactly sure what the fuck. Because it doesn't show I have it, which doesn't make any damn sense whatsoever. So let me go back out. Let's go check the mailbox again. And it's possible I put the stupid damn thing back in there. I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, because we grabbed it from right here. We grabbed the spark plug. I remember doing that. Let's make sure it's not in my truck. I didn't think that it was in my truck. Beer bottle, log, pliers, hardware, cigarettes, duct tape. Not a fucking thing. Now this is interesting. Cause it doesn't show I have it on my character anywhere. Please not a glitch in the game. I've had enough of those lately. I really wanted to get this thing going. I mean, where would it be? Let's go inside the house. Maybe it's in... I just, I don't know. I didn't think I discarded it. 
get warm by the fire. And there was the map because we inspected the map. Hmm. have to be missing something. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? I'm not really sure, Carl. You can't break. Oh. Come on, let me break some shit. This is so weird. And there's not shit out here. What the fuck was that? <laughs> the game is like, eh, fuck you. I'm gonna throw you back. It says we're missing a fucking spark plug. Did I use the spark plug on the, um, hold on. Did I use it on this piece of shit? And am I fucked? Nothing in there. Hey, give me that back. Because uh, I remember starting this whole thing up and it just went to shit. Oh, please tell me I didn't use the spark plug on that. Nothing in here. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. And we got that up there because we climbed on top of the roof. Oh, what the fuck? This makes no damn sense. I have no earthly idea. And I just can't see it being one of those games to where you're kind of, you're stuck. I mean, they can really tone the music down on this damn thing too. Carl's inventory is full. <laughs> oh my god, what a freaking pain in the ass. Alright. Consumables. I don't want to use that first aid now. I don't want to do that. Inventory. There's the headlight. Oh, there's a fucking spark plug right there. What the shit? Hold on a second. I'm looking at this all wrong. I have the spark plug. What I don't have is gas. And what I don't have is something else. Oh, God. I'm such a freaking dumbass. Okay. So, let's... Let's deposit some shit here. Um, we need the gas can. Lantern. Matches. Put all the logs in there and then the fire starter. Okay, so let's do this. 
gonna figure this shit out. All right. Okay, so we need one more fucking thing. What is that? So we have place, spark plug, and key. So we need keys. Where the fuck are the keys at? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Damn thing tried to eat me. So we need keys? This is how we got on the roof. And we got the umbrella. I think this jacket's helping. Hmm. I mean, we put the handlebar on there. I thought we put the lamp from the spaceship on there, because... Yeah, that's the only thing we need are keys. Hmm. Let me think. Is there any place I would have missed those? Keys have to be somewhere else. What's this? Sheets of metal everywhere. Oh. Was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends? Or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? Gamma rays? Hold on a second. Remember that map on the inside here? Let's warm up. So... Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Yeah, it was. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? I bet we're gonna have to go and look and see because this pin right here looks like that's where the gas station was. That pin, I have no really good idea. That looks like an area that was across from the distillery. And the pin down where we're at looks like... I don't know, because I think we're up where the road stops. So that pin on the far south is another area it looks like we need to explore. So it looks like we have three different areas that we're going to have to transverse out into the wilderness and kind of look around. And maybe we'll find the keys there. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode uh, at that note because that's going to take a lot of exploration to figure out where we need to go next. Um, especially if we got to go to all three of those areas because this one looks like it's actually out back of the gas station. And we, we tried going there early on in the game and died, um, obviously, because I didn't have this coat on. So anyway, with that said, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up for me. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down. And uh, feel free to subscribe. Always looking for new subscribers. I do release daily and I would say weekly content, uh, sometimes uh, daily. Um, with that said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Please tune in because we will be continuing this. Now I'm really intrigued as to uh, what, what's going on. Um, what are we missing? And what's up with this damn snowmobile? Anyway, until the next video, you guys, peace out.